Hi folks, 65C02 Movies and Ebooks Presents. What you are gonna see in this clip. It is probably the story of the mankind in the next 50 years. Is it possible to predict a war? Or it is a matter of extrapolating risks? Nobody knows what the future is. And I haven't the crystal ball. Everybody should have an idea of what the future brings. It's also possible to build a rational theory about things to come in this way. A rational or chaotic future became visible. If the future is visible, it is also verifiable. For who knows what are the things to come. Future is really measurable. Phase 1. Extrapolations in a short time. During this phase, it is possible to observe many clusters of different events in which Syria and Iran will reach a new point of status. For more information about that, you have to read them in Italian language. Please download the free ebook Extrapolations from the World War III Roadmap Theory. Phase 2 economic polarization of the proxies. In this phase Iraq will have been divided in three states. The three Iraqi states will follow the Iran economic orbit. Afghanistan will follow the strong China economic orbit. Afghanistan will enter in the Iran economic orbit. Pakistan will follow in the strong China economic orbit. Pakistan will enter in the Iran economic orbit. China and Iran will build stronger economic partnership. Phase 3. Neutral events towards the trend line. In this phase we'll observe neutral and ob events towards the historic trend line. Pod crisis in the Korean Peninsula and in Japan because of North Korea's 10th already calm and peacefully situations in the Middle East. Pod flashpoints in the Middle East because of Israel and Palestinian issue. Transformation of the UP in the United States of Europe. Pod the new uprising along the all North Africa. Political acceleration. UE will not expand itself to the east, into the core of the Russian Confederation. That's no way for all the Arabic republics on leading the Russian Confederation. Russia will engage all solutions to avoid the disintegration of the CSI. Arabic people in the Middle East will want nuclear armaments to protect better their interests from Iran and its nuclear capabilities. Chinese will build military bases in Africa on putting small tactics nuclear capabilities because of Arabic nukes. In the Chinese Sea and in the east of Indian Ocean, Sosu's equipment will control underwater and surface sea traffic for Iran and Chinese military forces. In Africa new industries will produce lot of guns, assault rifles, RPG and things like that. India forces will express concerns about the issue of the rising China military forces in the Indian Ocean. Chinese military navy will reduce its presence in the Indian Ocean because the bigger China interests will be in Siberia. Phase of the climate change crisis. Huge and odd events all around the world will hit the globe because of climate change. For example, the Gulf Stream will show down and the north of Europe will have extremely cold weather situations. 
in the North Africa the massive leak of water and food will turn on the dangerous Cartago area from the Nile until Marocco. India and China will have severe problems in their own farming sectors. The temperate area will be worn away from the north because of cold and extreme weather, by the sub because the hot and the deserts will raise up. Market and financial problems will lead the way for future war between poor countries and rich nations. Ambient polarization of the proxies. Fast and last phase before the World War III will explode. This phase will complete all the steps to reach the best blast scenario. Iran will transfigure in the Sumerian Empire. China will transfigure in the Genghis Khan Empire. Everybody in the world will understand that the World War III is getting closer. We're in contact with Stalker 2, a Ranger Recon Platoon north of MSR. The last 3 3 in the area. Any two push 16 clicks north of MSR 9 to Memphis 2-5-7-7-9-8. Is it really possible to predict wars? Or is it a matter of extrapolating risks? Let's talk about World War III and how it could explode before 2050. We can explore the World War III along three different restrictions of analysis. First restriction is all about Europe is a defender and USA is neutral during the World War III. Second restriction is all about Europe is neutral and USA is a defender during the World War III. Third restriction is all about NATO is a defender during the World War III. The third restriction is quite similar to the second, so we can focus our analysis on a couple of restrictions only. Along the first restriction, Europe is a defender and USA is neutral during the World War III. In this case, the World War III will explode in Siberia. Genghis Khan Empire and Sumeric Empire should be strong aggressors. The Russian Siberia is their objective. During the war, the Republic of Ganj could be a less active defender or a neutral state. The defenders' coalition should be less strong than aggressors. So the future battle rounds will be only in Siberia, and the war should be more conventional. Meanwhile, in the Mediterranean Sea Punic Wars to explodes for strategic diversion. It should generate lots of deaths, because of ethnic genocides and tactics nuclear warheads. If aggressors coalition could have a firewall ABM, they should have good chance for winning the war. Along the second restriction, Europe is neutral and USA is a defender during the World War III. In this other case, Genghis Khan Empire and Sumeric Empire could be aggressors and the Russian Siberia is their objective. They cannot reach it, because defenders are stronger than aggressors. So the World War III will not explode in Siberia, but elsewhere. The Republic of Ganj could be an important and very active member of the Defenders' Coalition. During the war, aggressors and defenders will fight with ICBM, IRBM, SLBM. The number of deaths could be apocalyptic because tactic warheads will not explode in Siberia, but probably in India or in Korea or in Japan. Meanwhile in the Mediterranean Sea Punic Wars 2 explodes for endemic reasons in Africa, it should generate lots of deaths, because of ethnic genocides and tactics nuclear warheads. 
If aggressors coalition could have a firewall idiom too, they should have few chances for winning the war. This resource is a fast briefing of the two books. World War III and Punic Wars, Road Map Theory. Dossier Putrid Water. If you want to know more about them, please download the two books in Italian language.